the curse did not stop there I don't read anywhere that Sarah repented it followed his son Abraham's son Isaac married a woman that his father wanted him to marry but his wife was also barren hey Lama Hanto Robo Sheke whatever you do can have implications in the next generation May the Lord open your eyes to see that whatever curse that's about to follow your family, may the Lord break it in Jesus' mighty name. Say a louder Amen. Sarah was also barren. So was Rebecca. Until Isaac prayed for his wife, the Lord did not open the womb of Rebecca. I pray that every husband in this room or whoever's watching me online, you will now begin to pray for your family. Say a louder amen. You will now begin to pray for your spouse. If your spouse is not able to do what God wants her to do, you've got to pray for empowerment. Say a louder amen. You've got to pray for encouragement. You've got to be the person of encouragement. You've got to speak life into her so that she could be what God wants her to be. Somebody say a louder Abraham prayed. In the 14th chapter, the Lord blessed Isaac. Isaac prayed. The Lord released children out of the womb of Rebekah. This is what bothers me. This happened even to Rachel. My God. Jacob's wife. Lord, I don't know what is that connection. But today I break that connection in Jesus' name. Somebody say, how dare Amen. I don't want any of these curses to follow me. Not my son, not my daughter, not even anybody in my family. May the Lord deliver. You know how this curse started? Because one woman who did not believe God. One woman who chose to doubt God. One woman who chose to laugh at God and challenge God. The Lord said in Genesis 18, 14, Is there anything too hard for me? Says the Lord. I am the Lord God of all mankind. He had to come out and challenge her. By this time next year, you will have a son. The 21st chapter very clearly says, The Lord was gracious enough to bless Sarah with a boy as he had promised. Don't put the Lord your God in test, my children of God. Please don't. Learn to submit and learn to learn to obey and follow his leading in Jesus' mighty name. You know what happened to Jacob? His blessing was delayed. Because another deception came into his life. Rama Sheki. If you let deception enter in one generation, unless you break it, it will follow the generations. The patterns will have an effect so severe that he will be walking away from his will 20 long years. Working under somebody who will rob him of his own wages. May the Lord deliver your family this morning in Jesus' name.